worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, bless your people today, O God. Bless them, Lord, in every area of their needs, O God. I decree and I declare, O God, abundance and prosperity, love and joy and peace be upon the people of God. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, bless them, Lord. Bless them indeed, O Holy Spirit. Give them all the desires of their hearts, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we study your word today, thank you for opening our hearts, our minds, our spiritual understanding. We receive your blessing. We receive your favor. We receive your anointing. We receive the mighty wisdom from the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Let the joy of the Lord be our strength Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, God, for the victory. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen and amen. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Praise God, hallelujah. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Christ the Healer International Fellowship. Thank Amen. you for coming. Amen. We are so blessed to see your big smile again. Praise Amen. God. Amen. I want you to smile to your brother and sister left and right. Shake their hands properly. Praise God. Hallelujah. Don't Hello. just shake. Shake them properly. With passion. Amen. Praise God. With passion, with smile, and tell them, praise God, thank you for coming today. You bless my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you for coming today. You bless my life. Amen. Happy Joyce, how are you? Praise God. The National Guard people, how are you? Amen. We seldom see you. You're very far. You're living in Kuwait. Huh? <laughs> It's good to see brothers and sisters coming together, Amen. worshiping our Heavenly Father. Amen. We come together as a family. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you are my family. You are my family. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are a family. Did you know that? We have only one Father. Praise God. We have only one Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the firstborn among many brethren, the Bible says, praise the Lord. So Jesus is our firstborn. We are brothers and sisters. We have a family. God the Father, praise God. And uh, we are here to celebrate. Amen? Amen? To celebrate the goodness of God. Are you blessed this week? Have you been blessed? Amen. Amen. Say, I am blessed. I am blessed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healthy. I am strong. I am healthy. I am strong. I am healed. I have long life. I have long life. I have long life. In the name of Jesus. I am rich. I am rich. I am wealthy. I am wealthy. I am wise. I am smart. In the name of Jesus. Today, Today, I will listen, I will listen to, the to the Word of God. Therefore, Therefore I, will be blessed. I will be blessed. You will be blessed. You will Everyone blessed. will be blessed. Beyond, be beyond measure. Be in, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Say, I receive that. I receive that. I receive that. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Declaration claiming the Word of God. It's very, very important. Praise God. Do you hear something? Amen. God, praise God. It's just telling us the helicopter is on the way. Amen. Amen. The chief helicopter is on the way. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We'll be traveling from one place to the other. We need helicopter, brother Andy. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we, we went from Cavite to Manila. To Tarlac. <laughs> Praise God. Eh? <laughs> we'll be traveling a lot when we go to the field. Why? We'll have plenty of churches. Amen. I'll say, Pastor Mark, you go to Tarlac. Okay, Pastor Henry, you go to Ilocos today. Praise God. Amen. We need a preacher in, in, in Cebu. When says, I'll go there. In Amen. Mindanao, praise God. Kuya Raymond, go there. Take him. You know, this is what will happen. Amen. Those are Pusayaf area. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> This is what will happen when we all go home, praise God. We'll have our own factory, manufacturing company, praise God. We'll manufacture 
many different kinds of product, you know, to help the poor people. Jesus says, help the poor, help the poor. We'll help the poor. Those who don't have jobs, we'll give them jobs, praise God. We'll have plenty of workers in the farm, hundreds, by the hundreds, by the thousands. And God will extend our territories, our boundaries. Amen. We'll have big plantation in Cavite, praise God. Amen. Amen. Not only in Cavite, God will give us many more places Amen. where we could build our church, we could build our Bible museum, we could build... This project we're building is just a sample. This is a model. And this model, we will replicate in different places. Why? This is a good strategy to bring people into the church. It's very difficult to bring people into the church. Amen? So... We will replicate this, praise God, so that we can bring many, many more people into the kingdom of God. This is what we will do. And all of you will be workers and pastors and preachers and teachers and counselors, music ministers, every one of you. This is what will happen to us. Amen? Amen. So get yourself ready. Be focused. Be diligent in what you are doing for the Lord. Amen. Wala no fluctuation, praise God. When you commit to God, a hundred percent. Amen. Commitment. Wala nang hundred, bigang eighty, bigang seventy, bigang ninety. Bigang... No, wala nang fluctuation. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Every time one hundred percent should be our commitment. Amen. Amen. Wala nang fluctuation yan. Praise God. Diligence. Amen. Diligence. Praise God. Put the title on the screen. Hallelujah. Who needs a miracle? Amen. Amen. Who needs a miracle? Amen. Amen. Everybody needs a miracle, especially we OFWs. We need financial miracles. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, we need financial miracles. We need financial miracles. And we will attain that will attain in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Praise God. Hallelujah. We will attain that. God wants every one of us very, very rich. Amen. Tell your neighbor, God wants you to be not only rich, but very, very rich. And God is able to do that. God is able to do that. Praise God. Let's open our Bibles in the book of Matthew chapter 15. We must get God's attention to receive our miracle. It's a title, okay? Matthew chapter 15. I'll start reading on verse 1. Then some of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law came to Jesus from Jerusalem and asked, Why do your disciples break the, tradi the tradition of the elders? They don't wash their hands before they eat. Praise God. Do you wash your hands before you eat? Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, this is the tradition. Amen. It's good to have good tradition. But don't let tradition nullify the Word of God Amen. in your life. Amen. We have so many traditions. We come to the church every Sunday. If, if you know, you were Catholic before, I don't know if you're coming to the church. You don't have to the church during, before you become born again. Okay, we come to the church, praise God. There's nothing wrong with that. We don't know Jesus yet. We know tradition. We know religion. We know tradition. We don't know Jesus yet. We know the mother of Jesus, praise God. There's nothing wrong with that. As long as you don't worship her following the tradition of men. Mary's in heaven and she's enjoying the paradise of our Lord Jesus Christ and she's a good woman. She's an example for every woman, praise God. What did she say? Follow everything Jesus say. Means to say that Mary follows everything Jesus say. But still the primary person is God the Father and Jesus. We follow everything Jesus said. So here, the Pharisees, the leaders, they are so stick on their tradition. The tradition of the elders. Oh, praise God. Wag kang magwawali sa gabi. Wag ilabas ang swerte. Hello, tradition. Don't clean your house during the night. You're bringing out the blessing. They're not blessings. They're dirt. Amen. <laughs> These are traditions, praise God. You know, when somebody dies, 
we need to be mourning for 40 days. Wow, we mourn for 40 days and then we, we ask the priest to pray for the soul of our loved ones to bring them out of hell. But you cannot bring them out of hell when they are there already. You can bring them out of hell while they are alive. Amen. Pag namatay na sila when they are dead, kalas, finish. So we pray for them while they are still living. Eh tayo, we're not praying for them. Pag namatay, doon ipag-pray. That's tradition. Wrong po yun. Before they die, we pray for them. We love them. We introduce Jesus to our lolos and lolas and mothers and fathers and our relatives so that when they die, go, they go to heaven, praise God, that's victory, hallelujah, bye brother, see you later. Hello? This is how it is. Jesus showed us what will happen. He died, He rose again, and Jesus says, bye-bye, I'm gonna see you later, guys. I'm gonna go and prepare a place for you, but you will come with me up there. I will send the Holy Spirit to guide you. While I'm waiting for you in heaven, I'm preparing the houses in heaven, the mansions in heaven, but I'm gonna see you later, Jesus says. I'm gonna go and prepare a place for you. Diba? So any Jesus? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me there in heaven. Amen. No worries. When you're a Christian, your, your relatives are Christians, no worries when they die, praise God. Mama, I'll see you later. Amen. This is just the body of my mama. Amen. My mama is in heaven. Amen. Do you know that God revealed it to me? Okay, I was a Christian. I'm away from my mother. But I... Cause her to receive Christ as Lord and Savior when I got born again. But there's no spiritual growth. Why? Because there are no churches yet in, in our place in Laguna. But my brother is a born again Christian. So before my mother dies, and then he, and he prayed for my mother, then she died. In my heart and in my mind, I'm still doubting is my mother really in heaven? Is my mother really in heaven? I'm doubting, you know. Then one day, God showed me a dream. My mother descended from heaven. And she was floating in the air. And she was very happy. I said, Mama, where are you? So I mean, I'm in heaven. How's everything in heaven? Oh, it's so happy. Everybody's singing and singing. And there, there. Kantahan ang kantahan, kantahan ang kantahan. This is her word, Tagalog. Kantahan ang kantahan, kantahan ang kantahan. Ang saya-saya, ang saya-saya. Very, very happy, very, very happy. And then she goes back again to heaven, and then she disappeared. I said, God, thank you. My mother is in heaven. Amen. I will see my mother again in heaven. Amen. And she says, heaven is a very, very happy place. Everybody singing and singing and dancing and laughing and singing. Dancing. So we need to pray for our loved ones Amen. while they are alive. Amen. Because when they die, you cannot take them out of hell. Amen. And that's the tradition. It's a tradition. You want your, 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 your father to get out of hell? Or maybe we can put air conditioning in hell. Pray a little bit, pay the priest, and we can put air conditioning. You know, we can arrange from the devil to put air conditioning to your father or mother. It's not the case. Diba? Sabi mga priest niya Let's pray for the souls of your mother, your father. Maybe they are in purgatory, in limbo. There's no such thing as purgatory. The earth is the purgatory. This is the middle ground. You go up or you go down. There's no such thing as purgatory is storage place or station. Station pa, ha? So such. <laughs> Jesus says, Why are you destroying the word of God? Because of your tradition. Tradition. Verse 3, Jesus replied, Why do you break the command of God for the sake of your tradition? For God said, Honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses his father and mother must be put to death. But you say that if a man says to his father or mother, whatever help you might otherwise have received from me, 
is a gift devoted to God. He is not to honor his father with it. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your tradition. You hypocrites! When you give something to your mother, don't say, this is for Jesus. I'm giving it to you. No, no, no. This is for you, Mama. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Mommy. This is for you, not for Jesus. My tithes is for Jesus. Amen. My offering in the church is for Jesus. But this one is for you. Amen. Because we are insulting our parents, our brothers, our sisters, whoever that person is, even our friend or Christian brother. If you say this, you know, I'm giving this to Jesus. Just for the sake of the Lord, I'm giving this to you. Hello, wag mo na ibigay sa akin yan. Bigyan mo ng diretso kay Lord. Diba? This is what Jesus is saying. You give your gifts to your parents and you're telling your parents, this is for God. That's wrong. Give something for God. Your tithes, your offerings, your love offerings, special offerings, whatever you call it. But the thing you give to your parents, you tell them, Mama, I love you. It's your birthday. Praise God. This is the cake. Hindi yan para kay Jesus, para sa yan. This is hypocrisy, Jesus says. You hypocrites. You want to give something to God? Give something to God. You want to give something to your parents? Give something. Give it to, to them directly and tell them, this is for you, Mama. Amen. Are we getting this? Amen. So they nullify the command of God. What's the command of God? Honor your parents, Amen. your brothers and your sisters. Honor everybody around you. And honor God, of course. You hypocrites. Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you. Next verse. 